Howdy folks, Kerbo here. Welcome back to Rolling Hills. It's early morning here. It's the day after I helped out Mr. Mark DuPont with his lime. And I'm doing some lime on my own field here. Number 38, where we got that chaff off, is in need of some lime. And you can see the weeds are already growing up on it. So we're going to throw lime down and then we're going to plow all this under. And I'm not sure if the weeds will come back. One of my fields they did, one of my fields they didn't. I haven't quite figured out the weeds yet. I'm just a little bit over. Yeah. go. Using the auto steer here to go somewhat straight-ish. And I brought this fertilizer spreader over from the store on the little tractor, and since I already had it hooked up, I just left it on the little tractor. It's, this thing's full. It's almost more than the little guy wants to handle, but it's doing all right. Main issue I've had is stopping when it's full of lime and you're headed downhill. It's a little dicey, but we'll give the little guy a workout. I'm starting to wonder if maybe the subsoiler isn't the best option. Woo. That didn't work. <laughs> like I said, I've had mixed results with getting the weeds plowed under with the uh, combi plow. Lined up on this setting. How's that going to be? Yeah, we're off a little bit. Scooch over. There we go. This is sort of a triangle shaped field. So it's going to be getting shorter and shorter across here. Whoa! As you can see there, we got uh, <laughs> a little bit of speed built up. It's kind of a handful driving. Yeah, a little bit off. Leaving a little bit of a gap there, but we're getting most of it. So I'm kind of wondering if it's going to be worth getting an actual plow and an actual cultivator and doing both of those activities rather than using the combi plow. But uh, we'll see how this next round goes because my cornfield over there, the other cornfield, just fine. It doesn't have any weeds. But I did, let's see what I I did the combi plow because it needed plowed after corn. And then I did planting. And then it grew weeds during the first growth stage of the corn. So I ran the weeder over it. And the weeds so far haven't come back on that field. But the grass field, they did come back. So I don't know. Something I'm missing or weeds are a little buggy or something. So between Mark and I, we're kind of doing some experiments to see what works, what doesn't. Let's get a few little spots I missed there. And then we got this little strip over here. Shoot some lime on this. And then I think this field will be all done.
So like I said, I was uh, I was helping out Mark with his liming. He had a huge field. Took a nearly two forty-seven thousand liter trailer fulls of lime. So eighty thousand liters of lime, something like that, we put on his field. Um, so that should be over on his YouTube channel from his perspective. Make sure you check that out. And depending on, depending on when this airs, you may or may not have seen that. And I may also throw out a little bonus bonus episode of my perspective. I ran a front loader loading up lime for him, so it was kind of fun. I'm trying to get a bunch of these recorded while I can because work is picking up again. So sometimes I kind of lose track of where we're at and what we're doing with regards to helping out Mark. So a little bit of line left. We'll just park this guy. And we'll throw the compi plow on the 6M. See, I've got some herbicide left over. I was emptying out the sprayer. Where am I going to put this guy? Hold those up. I don't say, well, let's just stick this over here in front of the barn for now. I can get organized later. Once all the work's done. See, I've still got the chrome sitting there. Haven't even got it cleaned up yet. Lovely early morning here. Here, let's get a screenshot real quick. Always need a thumbnail, right? There we go. Something like that ought to do it. So I've still got the weights on the front of the John Deere. We just need to grab that combi plow. And we're good to go. Now the last big episode was about an hour long. We're not going to do an hour long this time. We'll do a little shorter episode. Kind of mix it up a little bit. And going back and forth with this four meter zombie plows, not the most exciting thing in the world. <laughs> but it's got to be done. Hoping to get some cows soon, but I'm about out of money. I actually had to borrow money to get that lime spreader and buy some lime. So I need to sell some crops. I need something. I need some money coming in. So far, we've just been spending money. You have, I believe, soybean. In the silo. Soybean I first harvested? I've forgotten now. Out of my big field. Let's take a quick look here. Go over to here. Uh, where's my crop? Houston, we have a problem. All right, well, I'll figure that out later. <laughs> I don't know where that went. Maybe I'm losing my mind. That's a possibility. I harvested that field, a big field. But... Maybe that didn't translate over when we went to multiplayer. I'll have to figure that out. So I'm going to take a trip.
track right down the edge here. Hit the right button. There we go. Kind of didn't get started in time. I need to go over a little bit more. There we go. We want to run that front tire just right along where we want to cultivate. That gets rid of the weeds, but I'm pretty sure they're going to come back next growth stage. Speaking of growth stage, didn't work. Get that turned back on. Yes. We had that off for a while so we wouldn't uh, get ahead of ourselves. So that's the next order of business. Get this field here, 38, all prepped and get some weed in. Kind of slow business. kind of thinking I would take a trip around the field. Some of the fields actually got grass over. Lime actually spread out in here. So take a trip around the field and get a headland opened up here. Then we'll uh, start the back and forth. Not even seven o'clock yet in game, so should be able to get this field planted, ready to go today. Then it's just a waiting game. We're waiting on the grass. So speaking of grass, I don't have any hay equipment. So yeah, I don't know. We may have to collaborate with Mark. Not sure if he's gonna. I'm not sure what he's doing for grass. I know he's got sheep, so he's going to at least have a mower. We'll figure something out. Or I can go talk to the banker again. I'm have to go back and look at my saves. I've got the single player saves, I think. Because it looks like my silo is empty. That's not good. I harvested that whole field. And I thought I put it in my silo, but maybe I sold it. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look. I missed a little bit of lime here and there. That's all right. Almost back to the head of the field here. That's one trip around. All right, so if we back up here. I think this is the long way right here. I lock onto that. Yeah, this lines up with the rows. I'll get a nice straight path started across here. Then it's just back and forth, back and forth. That's pretty much it. To do that, and then I think I'll just go ahead and plant. And then maybe the weeds won't come back. I don't know. Don't know yet how the weeds go. Much to learn. If you've learned anything about weeds, let me know in the comments. Still figuring out Farm Sim 19. Beautiful sunrise. But I think I'll call it uh, quits for this episode. We'll make a, a little short one. 
I'm just going to drive back and forth across the field. Thanks for watching. Take care.